my name is Vishwanath M. In this video, let us try to learn and understand this C program used to implement the evaluation of postfix or suffix expression using stacks. If following the video syllabus, this is part A of program number 5. Let us have a very brief introduction of the program. Normally, while writing any mathematical expression, there are three ways to represent it prefix, infix, and postfix or suffix. Normally, we have been accustomed to be using the infix expression where the operator comes in between the operands, hence the name infix. For example, from our school days, we have been writing 2 plus 3 is equals to 5. 2 plus 3. So the operator is coming in between the operands. Whereas in with the computer domain, the compilers normally prefer postfix expression. Mainly for this reason that in infix expression, we would need the knowledge of precedence of operators. That is, to cons which operator to consider first and which next. Whereas in postfix expression or suffix expression, that is more or less taken care of. Hence, uh, in this program, we will learn the evaluation of suffix expression. And why the name suffix or postfix? In this form of expression or in this form of representation, the operators follow or come after the operands. You would see uh, 4, 5, 6 and then the operators are coming. For example, 2 uh, plus 3 is equals to 5 is what in infix. The same would be 2, 3 plus. Uh, 2, 3 plus is the postfix expression of 2 plus 3. That is the brief you know, introduction or background. Now let us dive into the program. Uh, normally any C program would require us to use a set of header files uh, and each header file would be, you know, input uh, would be um, used in a program for its own purposes. For example, STDIO, standard input output is used in this program because we are using input and output operations with namely printf and scanf. We are using this header file called ctype uh, and this header file is normally used for testing and mapping characters. Uh, we are using a function called isDigit. Uh, we will understand why we are using and what is its value later, but in order to use that, this header file has to be imported into the program. String.h is another header file which is uh, used or which has to be imported when using any string functions. For example, we see that uh, we are using a function called string length. Now we will understand why it is later and uh, math.h as the name indicates is used when we are using certain mathematical functions in our programs. Hence these are the four header files that are imported or useful in this particular program. Now we are first defining a function called compute and uh, this function would be called by the main function which is the calling function. Uh, and we will understand where it is called and how the uh, calculation is happening later but let us first understand the, uh, the function itself. So compute is a function which is returning uh, a value of int type and the parameter list goes like this. Ca character symbol, integer operand, operand 1 and integer operand 2. Uh, this program is uh, you know, clearly limiting to the use of uh, integer operands and uh, the specific the following set of operators would be specified in your question or in your examination and this is a uh, most commonly used uh, set of operators now switch symbol so having considered the character symbol and we are using switch statement in order to consider or in order to compare for various uh, cases so when the case is plus or when the symbol is plus addition obviously we should return the addition of both the operands operator operand 1 and operand 2 hence the return statement operand 1 and 2 uh, with a plus in between when it is minus we are uh, returning the, uh, the uh, subtraction of the two operands when it is star we are returning the product operand 1 uh, times operand 2 this is the symbol for divide this is a symbol for uh, modulus or uh, this operation would return the remainder of the division of operand 1 and operand 2. After division, whatever is the remainder that would be returned by this uh, operator. For example, 3 modulus 2 would uh, return as 1 because 3 divided by 2, the remainder would be 1. 
Now, uh, this is a very popular form of representing power. Uh, and in some cases, we interchangeably use dollar symbol as well. So for both of these operators, the return statement is return the power of operand one to the times operand two. For example, if uh, the expression is two cube or uh, you would want to evaluate two power three. So operand one would be two and operand three will be operand two will be three. Uh, power of two raised to three is two cube, which is eight. Uh, that is how that is how the uh, calculation happens in this function. Afterwards, let us now uh, understand the main function itself. Uh, in a C program, the evaluation starts with the main function. That is a good background to have. We are first uh, creating a character array. We are naming the array by the name expression for obvious reasons. Uh, we are um, uh, initially creating with a size of 20. This could be larger if we are considering bigger expressions. Uh, otherwise, 20 is a good number to start with. Uh, we are uh, you know, defining two op uh, various integer variables, operand 1, operand 2, a temporary variable or a iterative variable called i. Uh, in any stack operation, we have already familiar with this variable called top, and we are initializing it to minus 1. Uh, we are also creating other set of variables, result and final. We will see how they are used further. And uh, we are also creating a variable called symbol of the type character and an integer stack, an integer array of by the name stack with the size 20 is again created. So these are the initial set of uh, variables to be created for the use in this program. We want the user to enter a postfix expression or a suffix expression and hence the statement enter postfix expression and uh, scanf is used to accept the input and uh, since we are creating a array of characters or a string so this is the data type and we are uh, accepting the input and storing it in this character array called expression now in order to understand the logic let us first uh, let us you know um, parallelly understand this example itself so that writing this code or writing this logic wouldn't be a practice of memorization rather than it would be a practice of understanding you would know why you're writing each line now uh, considering this example 4 5 6 star plus and 3 minus this is the postfix expression at our at our disposal let us understand the logic now we want the for loop to execute as many number of times as there are number of characters in this, in this expression how do we calculate the number of characters using this uh, function called string length so uh, string length of expression would return the number of characters in this expression and uh, we are initializing the uh, i to zero and every time it checks this condition and whenever the uh, for loop is executed and the, and the control is returned we are incrementing by one now here in this case the uh, string length would be one two three four five six and seven so the string length would return the value of seven that means this would run seven times starting from zero uh, it would run up to six because uh, we know the in computer logic the uh, the starting position would be six and uh, the last but one would be n minus one now we have we have created a, a character variable by name symbol uh, we will first you know initialize or assign the symbol with the first character in the expression symbol is equals to expression of i you know in the first iteration i would be zero and in this case i would be four what we're doing next if the symbol is a digit is digit is a pre-built function inbuilt function which is uh, available from the header file uh, what this function basically does is it checks if the character is a digit and if it is a digit the uh, the return value or the value of this if expression would be true so if it is a digit what we are doing is we are pushing or we are entering the symbol into the stack how do we do that we already have a, a integer array by name stack here or integer stack in the stack of plus plus top plus plus top is a very common way of uh, doing what is called pre-increment so we are first incrementing the value of top and then we are uh, uh, 
carrying out the further actions. Uh, this essentially means uh, we are first uh, increasing the value of top by one and then we are accessing stack of that increased value. You know, initially we have, incre uh, we have initialized to minus one. So when this um, uh, calculation happens for the first time, minus one would become zero. And we know that the first position in the stack is always zero and stack of zero is what we are trying to access here. So if it is a digit, we are pushing the digit into the stack, but before pushing, uh, we do this uh, calculation or, or we do this uh, operation where we subtract the the character uh, by minus, uh, we, we, we subtract it by zero. There is a, uh, the, uh, the reason is we, uh, we want the uh, integer form of the expression or integer form of the character to be placed into the stack and not the character itself. So uh, how, uh, I would I would suggest uh, students to first understand the conversion. Uh, there is a very uh, there are a lot, lot there are a set of resources which tell you how to convert uh, from the uh, character to integer. Uh, this is basically ASCII conversion. So what essentially we we are doing here is uh, even though the the character is four, but that would be in the uh, uh, type character. We are converting that to an integer because. Uh, we are creating a integer stack here. So uh, the whole of the result of this expression is the first character, if it is a digit, we are converting that to an integer and we are pushing into the stack. So that that covers the if part of the statement. Now, if it is not a uh, digit, for example, uh, in the fourth iteration, when we see that the uh, you know, symbol is not a digit, that means this uh, line of code wouldn't be executed, it will come to the else part. If it is not a digit, so it, it obviously should be a operator. And when we have an operator, the rule is we first uh, pop out the top two operators. So uh, operator two would be the uh, topmost uh, top uh, operand or topmost symbol in the stack. Operate, operand one would be the one below it. So how do we pop out the uh, elements of the stack? We uh, access the topmost element and when then we decrement the value of top by one. So this is what is called as post decrement. So for example, here in, uh, because we have a star here or we have a multiplication operator here, let us understand the um, process here. Operator two would first pop six because the top would be here. Top minus minus would result the top two come down or the value of top would be minus one. Uh, so uh, in the next we are accessing the operand one. So six minus six and uh, the next operand would be five. Uh, since uh, the operand operator here is star, what we are doing here is we are calling the function compute. We have already defined the function compute. We've understood what it does. Uh, the function compute is called uh, with uh, the three parameters. We are passing the operator in this case, it would be star. We are also passing the other two operands, that is operand one and two. And uh, the the relevant case would be executed here. For example, here in this case, it, it would be star. So it would return the product of operand one and operand two. And this compute function will, whatever is the return value is assigned to result, the variable called result. And once the result is computed or it's calculated, we want the result to be pushed into the stack again. For example, here uh, six, is, uh, 6 and 5 are popped out. The uh, calculation of 6 into 5 is done. This is done in the compute function. And uh, the return value is 30. And 30 is pushed to the stack because we want the further calculation to happen using this result. So how do we do that? Again, we are incrementing the value of top first. That is, we are pre-incrementing. And then we are uh, pushing the value result onto the stack. So that is what is happening here. Six and five are removed. The calculation is done. Uh, the result of the expression is pushed back to the stack. So after four, now we have 30. So that is what happens in the for loop. So as uh, how many times this would happen, uh, that depends on the length of the string or length of this expression. For that many number of times, the for loop is executed and the relevant operation takes place. That makes total sense because uh, we just need the uh, for loop to run until the position comes here. 
once we have come to the end that means we have uh, traversed the whole expression itself so that means we would have got uh, we would have gotten the uh, the final value of the expression so for loop would run for those many number of times and uh, finally whatever is the content of the stack that would be the result so we are uh, in the variable called final we are just uh, storing the topmost value in the stack final is equal to stack of top minus minus uh, and final would hold the value of the expression and we would just print that print of value of expression of percentage d final so final would uh, take the place of the percentage d here and uh, we would get the value of the expression so that uh, we have understood the program itself now let us see how the program is executed this is a Linux environment and uh, what you see is a familiar view. This is the terminal. How do we execute uh, C programs? We use the compiler GCC. In some cases, it could be just CC. Uh, GCC program 5 do 5a.c. That is the name of the program. One important note here. When we are using the header file math.h, GCC requires us to additionally Put this command minus lm when we uh, when we clearly mention or when we clearly specify minus lm the import of header file math.h is carried out smoothly otherwise we would uh, probably see an error so now you would see that there are no errors i would just demonstrate what happens if minus lm is not used so we would see an error like this what did so the error says undefined reference to pow that is power so power is a mathematical function which we have imported using the math.h uh, header file uh, since minus lm is not specified here uh, it says it is undefined reference that means the import hasn't occurred smoothly or it, it has it hasn't occurred properly so for that reason we would have to use the command minus lm so when we don't see any errors that means the program is successfully compiled and it is ready for execution uh, we know the uh, way to execute a program dot slash dot slash a dot out by entering this command we would get into the execution of the program now it is asking us to enter a suffix expression or a postfix expression so let us uh, cons consider the same expression and let us verify if the program is doing the right calculation four five six star plus three and minus we have entered the same um expression all this happens behind the scenes all that wouldn't be seen on the output but what we are interested to see is if the calculation would result in the value 31 let us see there it is the value of expression is 31 that means uh, this program has correctly implemented the calculation of postfix expression let, let us consider a, a longer expression and I would I haven't uh, you know, done the exercise of uh, uh, doing or manually uh, representing the way it is done I would leave it to the students as an exercise to carry out themselves uh, however let us see a longer expression now 6 2 3 plus minus 3 8 2 divide plus star Two power symbol three and plus so we've entered a, a considerably long postfix expression uh, and uh, let us see if the program is able to calculate the value it says the value of expression is 52 uh, if anyone isn't if anyone is interested I would recommend them to carry out a similar uh, way of you know representing the operations normally this would be asked in your theory exam so it's a good practice to be done and uh, that will help you verify the correctness of the program as well as understand how the program works so in this program we have understood uh, the C program to evaluate a postfix expression we have analyzed or we have clearly visualized how the operation takes place behind the scenes and we have uh, verified the output as well that was it. That was all in this program. Thank you.